We're making chicken soup. For this you need 3 tablespoon cooking oil, 1 teaspoon garlic paste, 1 teaspoon ginger paste, 8 cups of water, 1 cup of mixed vegetables, 1 cup of green bell pepper, 1 cup of red bell pepper cut up, 1 cup of carrot, uh, salt to taste or none at all if you're using chicken stock cube or monosodium glutamate, soy sauce, 1 teaspoon, black pepper, 1 teaspoon, 1 diced onion, green um, spring onions, three eggs and three teaspoon cornstarch and chicken. So first we're gonna put on our heat and add our oil and ginger which we've already done. And then uh, we're going to fry that. For 30 seconds and our ginger and garlic are frying. We're going to get rid of the raw smell of ginger and garlic first. We are going to add chicken. And now we're going to fry our chicken. Only two minutes. And we use some bones. That was two minutes of roasting. Two minutes? Yeah, okay. Two minutes. Two minutes of roasting. Now we are going to add our water. Four chicken balls. Four cups of water. Four cups. And another four cups. Eight cups of water all together. Um, heat is high and we are going to cook it uh, 45 minutes we are not going to use any garam masala or any other spices so now it's come to a boil we're going to put our heat on medium low and put the lid on for 45 minutes it's 45 minutes now. And our chicken soup looks like this so far. Sodium glucomet. We are going to use monosodium glucomet because we make already chicken broth. So we are adding another teaspoon of salt because one was not enough for this quantity of um, soup. 
going and to we've shredded our, our chicken, chicken with a fork. Like this, yeah. So it's been about nine minutes, ten minutes since we put in our vegetables. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add our soy sauce. We use um, light soy sauce, it's uh, low on salt, it's low salt soy sauce, it's the Japanese soy sauce, Tikoman. So we are adding our corn flour. When you are adding corn flour, your heat will be very up and you see how much you want to make it thick. So I'm adding little, little and see what happens. So we want more thick, that's why I want, I added 2 teaspoon cornstarch more, we are adding that, I think now it's okay. So it's been six minutes now, mm -hmm. more. And we are going to add our egg. When you add egg, it has to be finely uh, whisked. And we just don't add this bowl. And heat will be down. And most just too much. That is for 30 seconds, then after that you can stir. So now we're going to add our spring onion. It's been two minutes. It's very delicious. Yeah. You just follow the recipe step by step, then you can make it and it's very tasty and yummy. Please like and subscribe. Yeah. Okay. So we are done. It's been another two minutes since the yeah. spring onion went in. not like a restaurant style, it's very yummy and you follow our recipe step by step, then you can feel how it is. Okay, we are done. It's look like this. When it will cool down, it will be more thicker. So.